Hey everybody, it's Craig Bector here. In this video, we're going to have a closer look at the Feel World TP10 teleprompter. So here's a portion of what it looks like in front of me here. And you can see it's got the logo. It's got a little bit of a uh, sun shield or light shield. And basically, it's just a piece here that you can see. And what this does is it slides on a little uh, ring that you put on your camera lens. So basically, they come in different sizes. We have different rings for different size lenses. So let's say that you have a, a filter thread of 49 millimeters or 55 or 67 or 52. So you get a bunch of different sizes. And then what you do is you screw the filter thread on. So you'd have to take off your lens hood. You put the filter screw on for the corresponding lens that you have. And then this just slides down over your lens. And then your camera shoots through here. And it's just clear glass. So you're able to see through that. Now this piece here, you just mount on. Now you can use a iPhone or you can use an iPad. In this case, I set it up for my iPhone. So that's basically the physical parts of this. Now you can also use an iPhone with this. You don't need a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. And then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna download the app. So if you're on a Mac, you would go to like Feel World at the App Store, download that, and then you'll get an app that connects with a remote. So it comes with a remote. You'll need batteries. It's two AAAs in this. And then what you'll do is you'll type your script into the app and then you just place your phone like this. So you would just have the app open, the text displayed. You'd mount your phone like that. Now this would be sitting on your camera. So I think using an iPhone is better than an iPad because it's less weight for your camera to hold. You obviously need a tripod. And then what will happen is you can use this remote to adjust the speed or go back if you made a mistake and you could do a lot of different things. So it really is quite useful, actually. And I've had a YouTube channel for years and I've never had a teleprompter till now. And I always thought they'd be too complicated. So now that I've kind of been playing with this, I realize how much better it would be to have a scripted video. And there's a couple ways you could do it. You could read in real time with the scripted video once you get the speed adjusted, or you could read a sentence or two, um, go through it, then record it, then scroll down to the next couple, read it through, then record it, and you could piece it all together. So there's a number of ways that you can use the teleprompter, but uh, I was impressed with this. Now I'm using this with a 50 mil lens. So I'd say my camera's about five feet away from me and I can see it just fine. Now maybe if your vision isn't that great or you don't wanna wear glasses, you could use a wider lens, like a 35 mil lens, and this would bring the teleprompter closer to you so you could see a little better. So it's depending on what works for you. You can increase the size of the text. So let's say you've got a 50 mil lens or an 85 mil lens, and it's quite far. You can use the remote to increase the font size so that you can see it. So that's pretty helpful. There's some pretty cool features that they've thought about beforehand and it comes with a couple of different mounts so you can mount a iphone or an ipad or whatever kind of phone it works on android they have apps for android and apple devices and overall i am quite impressed with this i've shot video with this and you can't even really tell that there's extra glass in the way so as long as you keep the glass screen clean it didn't degrade the quality that much in my opinion it's definitely useful if you've got a lot you want to cover and you don't want to memorize it. This is perfect. Now, one thing that might be easier is if you're using the app on the phone, maybe if you go into like a Word document or pages and then you copy and paste it to the app, that way you wouldn't have to type everything on your phone. You could type it on a computer and then find a way to get it into the app. So that's one suggestion if you don't want to type an entire script with your phone keyboard or something like that. But all in all, I'm pretty impressed at this price point. Uh, it does a great job of what it's supposed to do. You can clearly see the text. You can use the remote from your seated position to uh, scroll faster, slower. You can do a lot of different things with this. And also it's Bluetooth connected to your phone. So there's no wires. So basically you just put your camera in place. You put the correct ring, the filter thread, whatever size lens, you just mount this. You put your phone right here. And then all you have to do 
is just find the script in your app. Maybe you can run through it a few times, different speeds till you get it right. Or like I said, you could do one line at a time or two lines at a time and then just cut it all together. But all in all, it's a lot better than trying to memorize a five or 10 minute video. I, I wish I had done this a long time ago. <laughs> anyway, it's the Field World TP10 teleprompter. I'll put a link to it just below this video if you want to find out more about it, but it's well worth the money, especially if you're doing on-camera work and you don't want to have to memorize everything or look at a little piece of paper and then shoot. It makes things a lot easier and you keep your eyes on the camera. So if you have any comments or questions, you can post them down below. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification to get email updates when my next video goes live. All right, thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up. And if you have a comment, post them down below. All right, I'll see you in the next video.